Hi, this is just a quick video for parameter training. Um, what I wanted to go through today is just opening a text document as an Excel document within the in-app ICT test because when you download a document that's a text file from the test um, it does need to be converted at times into an Excel document so I just wanted to do a quick tutorial as how to do that today. Um, the first thing that you'll find is that you'll need to open the document and find wherever you've saved it. Sometimes it can be in um, downloads or it's just depending on where you've saved it once you've downloaded it from the exam. So what I'm going to do here is just find one that I've downloaded from a test file. Um, this one here. And in so what you'll find sometimes is that when you look in the folder where you've saved it, you may not actually see the text file and that's because something here needs to be changed. So where it says all Excel files, it will only open um, Excel spreadsheets that exist at the moment. So what you need to do is just select all files from that drop down menu there and then you'll see it pops up here and you can see it's a text document. So if I just click open on that and we'll see um, a little pop up come open. We just need to select some things from there to open it. You are awarded marks for opening and converting these files so it's not just a case of they expect you to know what to do with this. Okay the first thing that you'll see and it's a, a three-step process is you need to select the option delimited which basically means um, to separate things with commas and spaces and tabs and things like that. So here's a preview of what we're going to get and you can see it's got no format to it whatsoever yet. So if I press next after I've done that and what we want to emphasize is that a comma and a semicolon will um, give us the correct information. If you press space you'll end up with too many um, columns there so just leave space and we want to select tab semicolon and comma and click next. I would say as a general rule we can you leave it as general because it's just general numerical and um, normal information. So if I just leave that and click finish you can see I've converted it into a spreadsheet um, and then I can just save that as I like then as normal. Okay, thank you. That's how you um, import a text document into Excel. 